Demonstrators demanded action from Seattle City Council and interrupted Tuesday's meeting. This ended with six arrests for criminal trespass. Asylum seekers and their advocates showed up, calling on the city to provide more money for housing in other King County cities. At one point, City Council asked security to clear the room. Our physical safety is being threatened by the actions of the demonstrators outside banging on the windows, which could easily get broken, and we will have a mob scene. No action was taken at the Seattle city level, but there is new funding coming in for asylum seekers. King 5's Drew Andre has the details of that update in Tukwila. The city of Tukwila is funding a large heated tent for the people that are living outside here at Riverton Park Church. It will be able to hold about 100 people total. The church has opened its doors to hundreds of asylum seekers for over a year now, but these people are living in tents and they've been living here this whole time like that. Right now, there are still about 150 people, according to the church. Most of the residents are from Venezuela, Angola, and Congo, who fled violence and conflict in their homelands. The hope is the heated tents will improve health and safety conditions, but this is just a temporary solution. Little pieces are getting some help, but for the most part, it's still the same place that we were a year ago, with people coming and not enough resources to help them. And also this week, King County announced a $1 million grant that would help with shelter and also resources for asylum seekers. As for that heated tent, it's expected to be open later this week. Reporting in Tukwila, Drew Andre, King 5.